All right, now we're going to go into our splits. Um, something that helps when you're doing your splits is if you get a line of duct tape and you put it on the floor. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll show you. My duct tape's purple because purple is my favorite color. So there's the duct tape on the floor, and that just makes sure that your legs are straight, and that's what you want. You want to have nice straight legs in your splits. So after you do your lunges and everything else, your legs should be nice and warmed up and ready for you to go ahead and get into your splits. So you want to go and do your right and make sure you're on the line. And it's really important to make sure that your hips are in proper alignment and that's where I'm having difficulties with in my split. So you want to make sure that uh, this hip is as close to the ground as possible. So um, push and then if you have your splits and you can lift your arms up and everything then another thing you can do is lean forward in your splits and then lean back another thing you can do is um, earlier when we were doing our lunges we pulled our legs up you can do that when you're in the splits like this um, that's also it uh, really helps stretch your legs even more than a normal split would. So make sure you're on the line and your alignment's right. Next you want to do your left split. So same thing, just stay on your duct tape line and go into it. Make sure you uh, point your feet also is important. So point your feet, you're on the line. This hip needs to go down as far as you can get it and uh, lean forward, lean back, uh, move your, pick up your leg. I can't do it on this one because I have a sore knee, so I'm not going to do that on the brick. But uh, it also, but it helps with your stretches. So if you have your splits, I, re I recommend doing that because it gets you an extra stretch. Um, next thing we want to do is middle with our knees facing up. So this one's hard for me, again, because my knees like to roll forward, but um, get to where your duct tape is, and you want to get your ankles on the edge of the duct tape, and then you want to push yourself to get as close uh, to the duct tape as you possibly can. So uh, point your feet, or flex your feet, I prefer to point. Um, make sure you keep your knees up. Um, once again, I'm always having to focus on that and then after a while stretch more and get closer and closer until you can get onto that line. Uh, next thing you want to do is a uh, middle split with your knees down. So use your duct tape and lean forward and you want to get down as far as possible. I don't know if you can see how close I am but I think I'm pretty close. Another thing you can do is you can sit up and stretch your back. back. Uh, that gets you into a deeper stretch, so that um, is a good thing to do. And then you sit down. Uh, if you have a bar, uh, you can stretch with it. I don't have a bar, so I can show you as best I can by using a chair, because that's all I have to show you right now. Um, you get the bar or chair, and you want to put your leg on it and lean forward on it and stretch this way and that's just another way to stretch your legs without actually doing the splits because I know sometimes when I do the splits my knees hurt because um, I have bad knees so I mean you guys probably don't have bad knees yet if you're still young so um, but if not this is just another way to stretch and once again you know Add some variety to your stretching. Another thing you can do is uh, you can hold your leg up. So um, stand on one leg and then get this leg and pull it up towards you. And you can do that on both. Also you can do to where it's right in front of you. Like that. And it's like the laying down. Um, laying down. Um, hamstring stretch, but instead of laying down, you're standing up, and you want to just grab it and pull it as close to your face as you can. 
Alright, um, now if you have your splits, start working on your over splits. And like I said, I have the small over split, so I'll show you guys what I have right now. But um, if I do more videos, then I will be sure that my over splits are a lot better. So um, right now, uh, my, my goal is a uh, uh, foot, which is 12 inches. Um, I have a box, which I just measured, and it's um, nine and a half inches. So I'm using this right now to practice. So I have it down, and then what you do is you just put uh, your front foot on top of uh, the box, or you can use a stair or a pile of books, whichever, whatever you have available, whatever you can use. And then just get into your slits like you normally would and try to push down. And it's a nice stretch. And um, as you can see, I'm still working on it. I think I'm getting pretty close to my goal. Um, and I'm excited about that. So um, uh, yeah, make sure you keep your goals, keep working on them. Um, that's definitely a goal of mine along with uh, a box over and an over straddle. So for a box over, what you wanna do is you can either get your friends to help you and have them sit down like this and you use their thighs to put your legs on and stretch. I don't have anyone with me right now, so what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use pillows. And um, you can use pillows or books or boxes if you have them. And you wanna just do your middle split on my duct tape and uh, lean down. And that way you can get farther into it and push yourself down. And what you wanna eventually do is to be able to have your legs in a higher position, but get to the, to get the middle of yourself down to touch the floor. So stretch with that. Um, another thing is an over straddle, which I'm also working on right now. And a way to work that is you get a chair and you would get an exercise, um, oh shoot, I forgot what they're called. It's like a rope, but it's more stretchy. And what you would do is I'm actually getting a uh, exercise, I think tape maybe, uh, this week. And what you wanna do is you wanna get the tape around the back of the chair and then you would have it um, tied to your ankles. So that way it stretches you, but it's not too tight so it won't hurt you. And what it'll eventually do is it'll pull your legs farther back than they're um, used to going. So you'd sit and put your back up against the chair and have your legs pulling out that way and that way you can get your over straddles and make sure your knees are pointing up when you do that. So um, like I said, set goals because when you set goals then you know when you get them you feel so much better about yourself like with my um, over splits I didn't think that I was that far with them. I thought that I was going to look pathetic for the video and um, just then I did my over splits and they turned out to be a lot better than I thought they were. So um, that's exciting and I'm, I'm really proud of myself and I know that if I keep practicing them then they'll be even better and maybe my goal will be reached the next time I have a video and I'll have a one foot over split. And um, along with my over straddle, I'm working on that. So next video I'll be able to show you what that looks like without having to try to explain it in a funky way. Um, so remember, stretch your splits, uh, point your feet when you do them, uh, have your knees pointed the right way, make sure your alignment's right because you don't want to have to learn them over because it sucks if you do, <laughs> and um, just keep working at it, don't get frustrated at yourself. Um, if you feel, if you set goals and you feel confident in yourself, you'll get them eventually, and you know, you'll just be proud of yourself and just feel so good and so accomplished.